Hello, welcome to Prezim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 9, Comments in C Sharp. In this session, we will learn single line comments, multi line comments, and we'll also have an introduction to XML documentation comments. There's a great deal to learn about XML documentation comments, which we'll be talking about in a later session. So, what are comments in general? Comments are basically used to document what the program does. For example, if there is a confusing piece of code and if you want other developers to know what that particular piece of code is doing, you can basically comment that lines of code. And when we talk about commenting in C Sharp, there are actually three ways of doing it. You can comment single line using forward slash forward slash or you can comment multiple lines using forward slash asterisk and asterisk forward slash. Let's look at a demo. Say I have some piece of code like this, console.writeline, hello, and let's make a copy of this line just to make sure we have some piece of code to comment and uncomment. Now I can comment the single line. So to comment a single line, we use forward slash forward slash. Obviously when we run this program, this line will be ignored by the compiler. Okay. So it doesn't compile this piece of line. Okay, so this is a single line comment. But if you want to comment, you know, even this line, you can also put forward slash forward slash, similarly this line. Okay, but if you want all these three lines to be commented, instead of using, you know, forward slash forward slash for every line, what you can actually do is use multi line comments. Forward slash asterisk, that's the beginning of the comment, and to end it, asterisk and another forward slash so this entire block is now treated as a comment okay depending on your situation if you want to comment multiple lines you can make use of multi-line comments if you want to comment just a single line make use of single line comments now do not comment every line in your program you know that's not why comments are there if you feel a particular piece of code is complicated only then try to comment that otherwise there's no point in actually commenting each and every line of a program for example if I have a piece of code like this let's say string city equals something London and we have a check here if city equals maybe London And we want to maybe say console dot right line something. Okay. Now somebody, you know, put a comment here. F city is London. There's no need to do this because this code is self explanatory. So we don't have to comment this line. Okay. So that's what use comments only the piece of code that you're trying to, you know, explain is complicated. If it's straightforward like this, we don't have to comment that. It's just a waste of space and time. Okay, and basically, there are two ways to comment. One is you can use the designer. For example, if I want to comment this line, I can use the designer here, comment out these selected lines. And if I want to uncomment, you can do the undo, uncomment button. Okay, that's using the designer. Another way is, is to actually use the keyboard shortcut, which is faster and quicker. So, and the keyboard combination for that, if you see the slide, it's Control K, Control C. Control K is common. So, Control K and Control C to comment. Uncomment, Control K, Control U. So, Control K is common. C for comment, U for uncomment. That's how I remember that, just in case if you're wondering a way to remember them. So, Control K, Control C, comment. Okay, and observe the status bar here at the bottom left hand corner. When I press Control K, it says Control K was pressed, waiting for a second key, you know. So Control U now, it will uncomment that. Okay, anyhow, so there are two ways basically to comment and uncomment using the designer or using the keyboard shortcut. And as I told you, don't try to comment every line of code. Use comments only for blocks or lines of code that are difficult to understand. And we'll look at XML documentation comments. I'll just give you an introduction of what 
XML documentation comments are, but there's a great deal to learn about them, which we will be doing in a later session. Okay. Now let's say um, I want to make use of this console class and the moment I type in the console class when I hover my mouse the IntelliSense tells me the summary of this class basically telling me what this class is capable of doing. So this class if you look at the IntelliSense there it represents the standard input output and error streams to console application. So where is this information is coming from? Okay, if I right click that and then say go to definition. Okay, this is actually coming from the Microsoft Assembly. Okay, this class is compiled and there is present in, in Microsoft Assembly. So Microsoft has written that class. Similarly, we can also write our own classes. For example, let's write a sample class and we will be talking about classes in a great detail in a later session. So let's call this public class, maybe sample class, just to give it a meaningful name. Okay, now let's not worry about the inner details of this particular class, what it does. So let me create an instance of this class. So when I say sample class, and look at this, when I hover my mouse over there, it doesn't show me any summary of what this class is capable of doing because we don't have those XML documentation comments. And the way we can tell what this class is capable of doing is by using the XML documentation comments. And if you look at, if you go back to our slides, XML documentation comments, they use three forward slashes. Okay, so forward slash, forward slash, forward slash. Look at this, it automatically gives us that summary tag. This is a sample class and a sample documentation. Just to illustrate. So now if I go ahead and hover my mouse over this class, look at that. That documentation, that summary within those summary tags is actually shown in the IntelliSense. So this is just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with XML documentation comments. Anyway, as a summary in C Sharp, there are three types of comments, single line comments, multi-line comments, and XML documentation comments. Single line comments, if you want to comment a single line, multi-line comments to comment a block of, line, block of code, and XML documentation comments, obviously for documentation purposes. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.